Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Civilization VI. Coming at you with a very familiar Wonder Start series. You guys will recognize this one from a few weeks ago when we did a Bull Moose Teddy Mouthrorima Wonder Start series. And I am revisiting it because it was incredibly powerful. Uh, sorry, it was well, incredibly powerful, incredibly popular uh, amongst you folks on YouTube. In fact, the first episode is approaching 5,000 views, I think, and we are up over 1,000 views on every episode all the way through to number four. There was some requests to continue on. There, People are loving the series. They do not want to see this particular one end. So I appreciate all your support. Thank you very much for being here. So this is the plan. We are going to continue on. A few things that I can get you caught up on. There was an emergency. Jadwiga decided that she was going to try to rescue Cordoba. We are just like five or six turns after where we left off in the last episode. We have our knights moving into position uh, to defend. She's not going to be difficult to beat. Uh, I'm simply uh, defending at this point and uh, we'll see what happens beyond that. We have made some plans. We've done some things. We chopped out the Coliseum. I'm oh, sorry, the entertainment complex in the arena and we have Coliseum ready to go in one turn. We've got the Taj Mahal going. We did a project in Washington, as you may recall, and we were able to acquire the uh, Sir Isaac Newton, which is giving us bonus science in our universities and builds us up a library and university in this city. We've planned out some ideas and some stuff for wonders. We're building an industrial zone here at some point, and we're going to do Reeve Valley in here for a massively high productive city there. And we are planning Potato Palace there, and we're planning when Magnus establishes to start working on a, uh, it's, it's, it's painful to do it there. I, I've, I've considered the idea of moving it elsewhere. I just don't know where else it could be. I have some chops up here, but I was planning those for Kilwa. Um, I could potentially do it here. It would be a bit of a grind because I'd only have like maybe two or three chops. I could steal that one and do that. That would be an idea. I could even steal the trees off of this elephant if I wanted. Because it is painful to, to lose uh, all these bonuses here. Maybe I switched that out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I do. This The idea was to give this adjacency as well. I, I can make that adjustment right now. I hate to lose that tile. But I didn't know where else to build Forbidden City. Because I don't have a lot of chops in a lot of places. It's kind of crazy. Um, deciding what to do there. I could grind it out somewhere a little bit too. I, I could start, I could do it up here. Uh, give it a couple chops and let it grind out. Uh, it's still decently early on that. Maybe I'll do that. Let's, let's, let's change our minds a little bit on this. Let's, let's go up to Los Angeles. And maybe we'll do it up here next to the theater square there. Make a nice solid theater square there. I've already established the theater square here. I don't know what I'm going to do for a wonder. Well, maybe we'll figure something out. Maybe Bolshoi or something like that we could throw in here or a Hermitage. Uh, to boost that up would be a thing. I could have put it here next to where Roar's going to go too. Anyway, here's the plan. Are you guys ready? I am going to see if it is possible that we could win both a culture victory and a, and a science victory inside of 200 turns. That is the plan. We have, of course, an amazing OP start. We've taken over a bunch of land over here, which we're trying to get up and running as quick as we can. Uh, Doomed World, you're not ready? I don't know if chat's ready, guys. I'm ready. By the way, are you ready for this? Mmm, fresh smoothie. Hot day out. The wife made a smoothie. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's good stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan. And then the plan would be, this Ruhr Valley City here is going to have a lot of mines. I think I counted up to 13 mines in this city. So we'll max production in this city, and this will be like our spaceport city uh, down the road. So that'll be a thing. Right now we're trying to focus on getting some housing in here. Because I thought I built two farms and we were going to have to nine there now. What am I doing wrong? I thought those two, those two there were going to get us to nine, and then the, the university was going to get us to ten. What am I missing? Put those two farms in there. I don't know. Oh well. Anyway, 
we're trying to get the population up. The, the big key is population. Next turn, we have sewers. We're going to, after the university, we'll slide right into the sewer. Get that going. And, uh, we'll get that city. Is, we got to got to move. Got to go, go, go. So, we got Coliseum coming in, Taj Mahal coming in. We have uh, 17 turns. Golden Age it will not be a problem. And uh, it's mostly just going to be about um, defending ourselves. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that. You're a long ways away. I'm not worried about you, actually. Well, not a long ways away, but I'm not worried about you trying to kill me. So, uh, I need all the gold I can right now. Nobody likes me. And it's, and it's upsetting. While the Coliseum stands... Rome shall stand. Coliseum. Let's go. When the Coliseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. <sighs> and the world shall fall to my feet. Okay, so Coliseum, it hits six cities. Not too bad. It's the best I could do. Uh, it just misses Baltimore, but it does get... Does, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it misses Baltimore by one, but it, I couldn't do it anywhere else to hit it. It does hit Chicago, Los Angeles, and Philadelphia. And then, of course, San Francisco, Washington, Boston. So, Six City Coliseum, not too shabby at all. We'll take that. I think our status is pretty good. Um, well, the, the the existence just shot some up to ecstatic. We're, we were kind of content. Uh, I took out the card in order to get skyscrapers, and I took in I took out the legacy card for the... Uh, the um, the Republican legacy card. So that little bit of a little bit of not so great. Uh up here. I'm gonna pop that on there. I could definitely do a wonder in here at some point. I'm just not sure which one it'd be. It'll be down the road, uh for sure. Uh, I gotta get traders going. I have I have way too few I got, I have two out of seven. That's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed, you guys. I'm embarrassed. There's a fair amount of chops in here, and we want to get Killwa underway as soon as possible. So this guy's going to hang out. Killwa might be next after we do this. I'm going to need some builder charges. Hmm. I don't need to buy this tile, switch this tile over, maybe, and three chops into Forbidden. That's probably not a bad idea. Do I ever run the new deal card? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Once I get to democracy, yeah, I run that. When I need the amenities, absolutely. <clears throat> uh, so we ate this. Um, there's not a whole lot of... I'm not sure what kind of damage we do to that. If I could ever get past that, uh, we could come in here and maybe pillage and mess around. But I'm really not 100% sure why it is that this city does not have nine housing. I thought it was going to have it. At any rate, we're going to mine up some of these hills. Uh, we're always buying a builder with faith whenever we get the chance. Because that is extremely important, of course. Um, I'm going to get some farms going so we can get the housing up in this city. here I'll swap that tile over later I need it in the city for right now I'll swap it over when it's time uh, you're skipping turn The city does not have housing, but I don't really care about the housing so much as I care about speeding that up. I thought I was going to finish it, to be honest with you. We'll throw trees down here in a little bit. So, we've finished... Uh, we went and got... Um, sorry. Civil Engineering for the All Wonders card. And then we're basically setting straight through to Conservation to be able to plant trees. Is the plan there? This guy is going in here. Oh, there is a general right there. He's gone now. Uh, that guy's going to go in there and secure that. 
Uh, this guy is on his way as fast as possible. This guy is going to heal up one more turn inside the city. This guy is going to eat that. And... Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, campus is going to go right there. The city needs a lot of production. Uh, lumber mills. Mine that up. Get all this going. A lot to do. Gold is not great right now. Which is a little frustrating. Uh, boom. Lots of good tiles for the city to work once we get the population moving a little bit. It's going to need probably an aqueduct. to get Because I've got the granary. Probably going to need an aqueduct. Not gonna be a lot of housing options because there's a lot of lost tiles in that city as well. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom. Uh, this guy's got a hangout in here. He's gonna try and get away with that builder as well. Damn it, that pisses me off. Uh, flight is done. Now. After flight's done, we start to think, okay, where do we want to go? Obviously, Science Victory, we want to push to Spaceport. But we're not ready for that yet. What are we losing back in here? We're thinking... Uh, Eiffel Tower will help. Let's go get research labs, at the very least. I think we're going to have to push to computers before too long as well. Maybe we go to computers first. How many turns to get to computers? Uh, National Park, Privateers. Mm, 12, like 15 turns to computers. Uh, let's get to chemistry first, I think. Next turn. Let's try and keep on moving here. Look at all the generals coming in hot. Get archaeological in there. We can place the theater square in here. But let's finish the Taj there. Let's see what we can do over here. There's a mine there. Mine that. There's a builder standing here. Oh, if I mine that, I lose that. I'm not sure why I have this builder standing here. Don't even know how long he's been there. That guy's going to wait a turn. Uh, let's see. This guy is going to go farm there. And a farm there, I think, maybe. Or even four, I don't know. That guy's standing there. we got to have a guy ready. We're going to buy that tile there. So a builder ready to go down in here theater square I said skip dang it yeah I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough damage to take this down because it's going to repair as much as I can hurt it here comes uh, trouble with a capital T That is annoying. 
Uh, sewer in here. I need to be able to plant trees is what I need to do. I need to be able to get over here. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't mind that. What does it rhyme with P? Get out! Oh, geez, Louise. Maybe I do it here. Theater Square Commercial Hub. These are probably the better tiles to keep. I can eat that for population. Put down a couple farms. Need more builders. Wish I just saw these guys coming. I could have uh, moved this guy in this direction instead, but. Claim great people. Here comes the great writers. Uh, coming in I held up a fistful of hot. Builders coming. Envoy for Singapore complete. Yay. Uh, I'm going for... An, I'm attempting to get both a science and culture victory in under 200 turns. That is what I'm currently attempting. Attempting to achieve. Uh, culture and museums. I'm going to go ahead and grab one more Mahenjo. Uh, first counts as two, and Hunza wouldn't be a bad idea at some point. Soon ish. Uh, please don't be standing there next turn. Well, I guess I would we'll just skip to there anyway, yeah. Oh, they sent the builder over this way. That's hilarious. You're not going to get away that way, bro. Uh, let's see. This obviously has a stay for this to be a plus three forever. Pop over this way, I guess, for now. What's this guy doing in here? We built the amphitheater. Let's go ahead and get the commercial hub done. Uh, theater square in this city. But eventually, I guess, go there. Let's go ahead and do the market first. Uh, this guy is going to go this way. If I mind that, I lose that. Same thing there. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. 
takes too long. You went for the other day. Uh, I've came very close in an Australia game uh, about a year back. Uh, it was about I got culture. I got the science victory and turn one ninety five. But the culture victory took to like two twenty or something like that, or two fifteen. I can't remember exactly. But this is going very well. I I, I feel like. It's something that we have a potential to achieve here anyway, I think. I hope. Um, yeah, let's get to work on the campus, I guess. Uh, I feel like I need to swap this tile over and work it to get the food up. And work that tile for the food. Yeah, we need, we need population in that city. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good Petra. Um, not a, it's a pretty good number of hills. This is pretty solid. We've got Nazca lines to make a nice little tile there as well. There's another hill in range eventually there. Population is my problem in this city right now. We are up to nine pop. I don't understand why it wasn't registering nine pop, or nine housing, I should say. And now all of a sudden it's registering the nine housing. I, I, I don't know. It's a mystery to me, folks. A mystery to me. Did I do early aggression as Franklin? I guess character needs that. Uh, well, this is Bull Moose Teddy. Uh, ooh, that guy just got smoked. This is Bull Moose Teddy, who does not do the same things that you're thinking of. That's There's a new... Uh, uh, no, I know what you meant. Um... There's two different teddies now, though. Um, so you have to be careful what you're talking about there. Yes. So Bull Moose Teddy uh, is right here. Breathtaking tiles adjacent to either a natural wonder or mountain as received two science, and breathtaking tiles adjacent to either a wonder or woods received two culture. All tiles uh, in the city received national park plus one. Uh, so he does not. he's not early aggression guy. So what I did though is I had an um, I got forward settled. So this is Spain's capital. For some reason they didn't settle this way at all. They settled this way, and then they forward settled me hard here. And I wanted into these mountains where I could get all these nice tiles. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna build like four heavy cavalries, upgrade them to knights, and go see what we can do. And about eight turns later, we taken them over. Now I'm in an emergency because Jedwiga decided to go to emergency, and now I'm defending and doing all the things. As best as I can. Uh, now, this guy... What am I doing? We don't have housing in here. Let's go over here and mine that up. Uh, you are going to go here. I'm just going to throw down a couple farms for housing. This guy's heading south to do that. This guy's heading that way. You're doing Chances this. Powerful. Can I get... No, I can't afford one right now. Pump out the traders as fast as we can. Uh, I should go ahead and buy this tile. It's not getting any cheaper. So we'll swap that one over in one turn. Uh, I'll probably just wait two turns for the theater square to finish. And then I'll have the 15% production towards wonders. And I'll just chop straight into the wonder. Uh, one two three times and we'll see where we're at maybe maybe i grab the jungle off of this yeah i might grab the jungle off of this to see what we're where we're at i'm not sure if i want to grab the tree off that or not let's see um just want to make sure we're protected back in here a little bit uh, what else we got? You're waiting. Uh, Jaysak, Jaysakarov. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, uh, I'm going to on one more farm there. We're saving these chops up before long. Hate to spend money when I don't make that much, but what are you gonna do? By the way, can I entertain you with 
my one. Uh... Hmm. This is the one thing about war too is nobody is gonna want to trade with me. It sucks. Man, that's I was thinking that was in the second ring. That's gonna cost a fortune. I can't do that. Ugh. Um sorry, gotta do it. I gotta do it. I need production in this area. I need things to get done. I need things to get done. All right, over here, another farm gets us to nine out of 10 at least. Working on that commercial hub, working on that market. So yeah, I think what I do is I wait. I wait the two turns, I think. Or actually, what I could do, do this way. Um, <clears throat> we're going Forbidden City, right? Yeah. So we go Forbidden City. And I can just go like this. I can go swap. And we have on All Wonders. There we go. Taj Mahal next turn, by the way. Very nice. So we chop that. Chop that. And we can chop this, and I think I probably chop that. It'll be a bit of a grind, but not too bad. I want to get the theater square uh, completed in here before uh, in a second. Uh, Trader is gonna go. What I really would like to do is see if I can get it to here and still get over to there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not. It would be ideal, that's for sure. Uh, we are pumping out the traders and only traders. I'm embarrassed by my my trader deficit at the moment. Literally embarrassed by it. Um, actually, this guy here, I'm going to be doing some chops in there for that. One, two, three. Maybe that junk chop. I lost that chop there to the kill wall. One, two, three is maybe four. Maybe four chops on the kill wall. We go there next, uh, for sure. Go like that, and go like that. I want to protect these tiles, so I'm going to come over here. I can't stand there, but I, I have to stand there. Uh, Almost pop seven there now. We're gonna put down the theater square. We're gonna mine this tile up. We'll chop that. We gotta get things sped up. Really important that we be sped up. Sometimes, in the, yeah, eventually the grievances will decay sometimes in the next thousand years. I know the grievances are pretty crazy right now, actually. Um, actually, the, the, they've actually decayed a lot. A couple, like three turns ago, it was insane. I wonder if the, have the emergency got rid of a lot of that. I'm wondering if the emergency got rid of a lot of that because now he's actually not too shabby. Uh, what I might actually do now is send him... A gift and he's already got the spices let's send him some edit alt he's he's got a, uh, grievances from other yeah he's he's gonna hate me for that but it, it's 
here we are in good shape. Like this could be turning smiley face pretty quick. Uh, bribing? I am not about bribing. Uh, I will. What do they want? I will take the bribes because as soon as they're happy with me, I can get alliances. I can get really cool trade routes going on, and obviously, I can also sell stuff to them at a reasonable price and start making some money because turn one as beautiful as that science and culture and faith are per turn at turn 112 which are absolutely insane by the way that 84 gold per turn is anything but impressive to say the least This guy got back up out of the water. Uh, I wonder if she'd make peace. Oh, she can't yet. One more turn. Yeah, I could do Diplo Favor, but I wouldn't mind selling my Diplo Favor because I'm going to need gold for a lot of stuff right now. I'm, I'm, I'm... I kind of sent this guy over here thinking I was going to buy that tile, but I do not want to spend that much money on a tile right now. Let's come back over here. Did you ever build a castle in the air? Did you? Here is one. That's the question. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. <clears throat> Taj. You and Beautiful. I come by road or rail. In all words, road or rail. Natural history, natural history done. Pushing straight through the conservation. 11 turns. One more turn there. I'm going to remove that, eat that jungle. I'm going to mine that. Kill while I get going there. And then over here. I will slide back into Forbidden City in order to chop that. Shave five turns off there. And then Theater Square. And then next turn, I eat that jungle and then move Magnus uh, over here. And by the time it's settled, we'll be working on Kir or, uh, Kiwa, Kiswami. Antiquities. Boom, bada bing, bang, boom. Uh, that feels bad, man. Hemlock. What, sorry, what are we referring to? Hemlock? Feels bad, man. Nice looking for a tomb. Now uh, we get theater square built here. ASAP. We're on the move. Oh, I gotta get... Oh, I can't... Ah, I need to get a thing now. The gold. Oh, my gold, yeah. The gold's ugly. That is feels bad, man, indeed. Sorry, that was... I, I said that and then red chat too late to understand what you're saying. We're going to go trader. I got to get the theater square built here. But I need to get... Got archaeological coming in here. I'm saving... I can save up faith. Archaeologist will cost 800. We're probably... In Renaissance, we're probably right back into another... Yeah. Can I get a trade route to them? I can. Let's go. This is huge. Now, is, is it going through the capital? Or it is. It's going through. Oh, thank you. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to have a road here, finally. And it's going to come all the way down through there. That's going to be so good. Oh my god, that's going to be so good. Uh... You know what? I'm going, I'm going to trade her first. So yeah, I need to um, save up my faith to buy the archaeologist here so I can go remove that so I can get the theater square built. I need pop 10 in this city desperately, which means I need farms. I need a builder over here to make a bunch of farms. Uh, I'm going to swap that tile. Farm, farm. Uh, I'm going to swap this over. I, this needs to be turned into. I'm going to swap that over as well. Uh, this, I need two farms, and this needs to be improved. This needs to be improved right there. Taking all the housing.
Yeah, Taj is technically a tomb, right? For this way. Uh, this guy. He's just hanging out waiting to chop. Uh, in here. We're gonna go to a fishing boat. I guess it's a 9 out of 10. So I would need two more to get to, and I don't, I don't have anything in range. I'm going to set it a camp here. I'm, so I'm just going to eat this in a 9 out of 10. <clears throat> quick question. Uh, I've got a quick answer, maybe. Eight food, spicy, spicy. What should I play for beginner, the vanilla one, or the with expansion? I'm still new in the game. So first thing I'm going to say, Belzac... And you guys on on YouTube probably know the answer to this. You want to go and check out those three videos. Best three hours you'll ever spend on YouTube. They will change your life when it comes to civilization. Now the answer is not a super easy one. But basically... I like the idea of trying out the game on vanilla, any game on vanilla, before I add expansions in. Just so you understand where the game is coming from, the roots, the idea. And then you also know the value that was added in the expansions. So I would play at least two or three games on vanilla, just to understand it. Those three tutorials were played on vanilla, and so those will help you at that very cursory level. Beyond that, like I said, you start to want to... Um, I'm actually going to move this way and go get that builder. Um, you start to want to add them in. So you could add in Rise and Fall, which is by far the best. By far the best expansion. Way better than Gathering Storm. IMO. And then you could add that in, see what that is. And then you know the difference between what game in Rise and Fall with which what game in Gathering Storm. Because if you do them both together, then you won't know. So you could do a few games with Rise and Fall, then you add Gathering Storm on top of that. And take the game through its evolution. That's my idea. Uh, he yeah he built it for his dead wife, right? I do believe Taj Mahal was built for his dead wife. If I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. Uh, let's line up the commercial hub. And by he built it, I mean, you know, he had people build it for him. Those individuals may or may not have been paid. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> There's actually a really good movie. I, I, I don't always tell stories when I'm, when I'm making YouTube videos at the same time as I'm streaming. But when I'm streaming and just streaming, I'm always telling stories about stuff. Um, There's a really good movie, really good movie. I watched again recently called The Bucket List. And in that, Morgan Freeman and uh, Jack Nicholson, they're both dying. Bucket list. Make a list of bucket stuff before you die. They go to the Taj Mahal, and Morgan Freeman's character is really, really smart, knows all about history and stuff, and he's telling the story to Jack about all these things. Hit their characters, obviously. So... Uh, they, he's telling the story and he describes uh, the people who built it as volunteers and Jack who is the savvy businessman who knows Bo when he's hearing it uh, says cool story not sure I'm buying the volunteer part though pretty hilarious line I thought so we're going to do something here we're going to go uh Wonder stays in. This could come out for a bit. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I gotta put... Uh, maybe I take a whistle... How many turns am I looking at? I'm probably looking at... What, seven turns. 
Maybe I do a quick turnaround. Maybe I do a quick one. Do I have a one stop turnaround I could do here? Sorry, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm sorry. Culture. There we go. I could just flip it around for a turn. Yeah, let's do this. Let's flip it around for a turn. Because I want to put in a card. And that card is... Oh, wait. You know what? Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to take out skyscrapers for one turn and put in first envoy counts as two. Like that. And for that matter, I could have taken this out as well. It doesn't really matter. That's fine. It's really just the one thing I needed to do because I wanted to go in here to Hunza and go first envoy counts as two. And I don't really care if I take it into three right now. It's just about the consulate when I get to three, right? So, yeah, let's do that. Just so I'm getting the goal in the consulate down in here. Um, so there you go. What else are we doing? By the way, let's go ahead and lock in that commercial hub. I don't know why I've waited all this time. It's a three here, but I lose the hill. Hmm. This is a very flat city. I'm not sure I want to lose the hill. Yeah. The production is worth more than the gold. Although I still haven't mined. I, well, I took the trees off of it a little while ago. I haven't put, or no, jungle? Yeah, I took the trees off. I can't remember now. Needs to be mined though. <clears throat> They're finding the most fulfillment of building a nice palace. Sure. Uh, Hunza is um, per traveling distance of trade routes, I think. Trade routes gain a gold for every ten, uh, five tiles traveled. Um, I'm not necessarily worried about taking them over right now. Eventually, I'm going to want Suzerain of all of them. Uh, I'm going to want Hattusa. I'm going to want Mahenjo Daro and these guys because once I get. Uh, kill while done. I'm gonna want like the 15% bonus in all my cities of all three of those yields. So uh, as we get moving here, I'll uh, push out on those, and we'll get organized. All right, next turn, let's go. Uh, maybe not. Next turn, maybe not. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, we want to chop that. We gotta get things moving here. Let's go. University three turns. Howdy, Wood. How are you? Good to see you. Heresy objection. Good point. Are you doubting people's willingness to serve their god or emperor? Sounds like heresy to me. <laughs> Listen, strange women lying in pond. All right, so policy change. We can take this back out and we turn on skyscrapers again and all is good with the world. And jump out there to conservation. Now look at this didn't add too much production though did it i really need to send more builders out here i've been sending the builders in the other direction i need builders in these cities because these cities are garbage uh we'll get to work on the university i guess library uh does she want to make peace by any day she wants to make peace no She's got too much on the line right now with the, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to raise any cities. I, I'll do some pillaging for gold and stuff like that, but I don't want to raise any cities because I don't want the grievances. Uh, down here. Okay. So now we're back over and do forbidden city and we're going to remove the rainforest. The city's got housing. Well, not the greatest. Can I actually, just a second, can I rob some housing from anybody? I could take that. I'm not sure if it's going to make any difference on what I have. Oh, it does. It takes me to 7 out of 9. Perfect. So, treat, sweet little trick. Um, I don't want this tile in this city going forward, but switching it over took me from 7 out of 8 housing to 7 out of 9 housing. So now I've got no penalty on my food 
when I uh, like so for for housing purposes, when you're at one short of your housing, you get fifty percent reduction in your in your excess food. When you're on your housing, you get seventy five percent. When you're over it, you get zero. So, what you want to do is you switch that over, adds the housing. So when I eat this um, rainforest, the food that comes in will be applied to the city at 100% instead of at a 50% discount. Chopperoonie takes four turns off that. And uh, oh, we have the city's actually at negative. It doesn't have any ability to grow because we don't have enough food in the city. Probably could use a couple of farms. But then I just come back over here, swap that tile back to the city I want to have it. And the city goes back to 8 out of housing. That's fine. I don't have the food to add on now, right now anyway. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get some of these online as well, but got to have that green. You know what I'm saying? So now we can move Liang over to Houston. Just like that. And we're going to be ready to go. Uh, by the way, I screwed that up. You're supposed to finish the university. There we go. <clears throat> I need the tile purchasing card on at some point because I need the, like, these are good tiles I should have uh, in this city. And I don't want to spend it all. Uh, you're luxuriating in your new recliner. So good. Sounds good. Gotta love a new recliner. You got to love a new recliner. Uh, Yeah, it's time to just go through here. We've got that commercial hub to pillage. Lumber mill for gold. Get some faith off that, maybe. Uh, I'm doing good, though, by the way. Thank you for asking. Oh, this guy's going... Oh, still haven't caught him yet. This guy's, like, broken. He didn't ask me to move last turn. I think I, I think he was standing there. I could have gotten him. And... Anyway. Oh, this is not good. What if he can No! This freaking unit's glitched, and I think there's a chance that I lose this builder. Oh, to the Genevas. Oh, glitchy little... Not cool. Not cool. Hopefully he steps away from these and he comes up here or something. If he steps there, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose it. Can't imagine the swordsman won't take it. Uh, you're going to wait. You're dead. Uh, now we're going to jump up here. We're at 9 a sake. There's no other housing I can grab here. I think this one won't take me to 11, yeah. So that doesn't make any difference. So I'm going to swing that back over here. Because this city needs housing the most. Uh, but what I'm going to do is... Eat that. It gets me to pop 10 anyway. I was close enough. Spit up that commercial hub, which was a big key. Three six, a three four, a six two, a one five, an eight two two, and then I can mine that up as well. That city's moving and grooving. Now we almost got our housing in here, which is really good. Uh, this needs to come online. That puts us at eight out of nine here. Uh, some farms. And you get to pop 10 there ASAP for that theater square to get online. Uh, when building an improvement that improves appeal, i.e. parity of the woods, etc. Does the appeal it gives apply to the tile itself or just else? So stroke ad adjacent tiles. So almost all appeal. Little hint here. If you give yourself one extra vote on this one and some of the other ones 
typically you'll win two to one to one to one to one because everyone votes for themselves. Uh, your trade routes sent to the chosen providers. Uh, I'm actually going to choose to give this to Gilgamesh. Trade route sent to the chosen player. Provide plus four gold to sender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm sending my trade routes to him. So we're going to give him a couple of thumbs up there. Then I give him three. There we go. Now, I would have preferred better stuff here, for sure. Um, it would have been much nicer to see like 100% production towards theater square buildings or, you know, to be able to get 100% or like double the great people points generated for, you know, great writers, great artists or something like that. But these aren't bad. We could get a, we could get a few tiles out of this and this would be a lots of lots of gold. Could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse. So hopefully we win these and we'll see how it goes. Boom! Uh, we got it. Oh, and actually, people voted for us to get it. Oh, because he's sending... Oh my god, everybody wants me to have the gold. Okay, well, I'll take the extra trade route. I would like the gold, but... Uh, what can you do? World Congress is very random. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you. It's it's completely RNG crazy, and it's unbelievably predictable because the AI does the same thing every time. I'm not a big fan of it, but hey, what are you going to do? So, sorry, when it comes to appeal, almost all appeal is to the adjacent tile. Um, the only thing that actually includes the tile itself are mountains are locked at four, wonder tiles are locked at five, and then... Old growth, once you get to conservation, you become old growth and new growth. Old growth is stuff that's never been chopped down. New growth is stuff that you've added up, like you've planted yourself. Old growth, what we'll count as production is if you chop it, but it also gets an additional, that tile itself gets an additional appeal because of the old growth versus just regular trees that don't, uh, will get the regular appeal, but not. Anyway, I think you get what I'm saying. All other appeal is adding appeal to all the tiles around it. Eight out of ten. A couple more farms there gets us to eight out of eleven. That'll really be nice. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I can do. Yeah, I'm already going max food, and that's what I want. So that's good. Uh, this guy can build that back up there. Uh, I'm actually gonna slip this back to this city. In there. Oh, nice. Thank you. I thought for sure this guy would come grab that, but he jumped across the river. All right, there we go. We're in business now, folks. Um, pop up here. and I'm actually not going to mind that. I'm going to throw up trees and lumber mills everywhere. Uh, do, 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 do. Two turns, I can buy that archaeologist. Uh, let's see, pop it over there. So a rainforest uh, will only minus one appeal to adjacent tiles and not at the tile itself? Yes, exactly. So a rainforest tile can very often have really high appeal if it's surrounded by trees or uh, coast tiles or lake tiles or whatever, or if it's up against a mountain or in a mountain group. It can have very high appeal, uh, the rainforest itself. It's 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 always it's too adjacent. Yeah. Okay, what else are we doing here? Uh, you're waiting. It, there's so many stuff going on. I'm not getting a lot of turns done because it's just there's so many things going on, so many cities, so many things to do. So I apologize that it's not making a lot of progress. At any given point, uh, let's go for Schrader. And next turn, what are we at? 54 minutes. I wanted to make these videos. I'm thinking like probably at least three more videos for this series. So it was four original. I'm thinking at least three more. Lucky number seven. I don't know. We'll see. But I'd like to make them around an hour long. Uh, I don't want them to be excessively long. Maybe the last one could be like longer until we see. Maybe it'll be four more videos. I don't know. I maybe I'm 
pipe smoking to get to uh, both a science and culture victory. I don't know. Um. <laughs> that in there I think and pop another trader you can pop another trader uh, I'm gonna pop a, I'm gonna pop one in here as well because I want the city to get growing with food I need food desperately in this city just force feed it the food if you will uh, down here. Okay, you're still waiting. Choose production. Uh, let's get the market. Theater Square. Max production. Uh, it's comparatively RNG crazy and it's completely predictable. <laughs> exactly, Kinsho. Uh, verbatim. Exactly. What comes up is RNG. And the impact of what comes up is tremendous. Um, but the... Uh, I know you're trolling. Because it's Kinsho. Of course he's trolling. Uh, but yes, I'm, I'm glad you understand makes me very happy to know that you're understanding the words oh, that guy's heading this way Shop Theater Square. Uh, which Civ leader has the best facial hair? Ooh. I mean, Gilg Gilgamesh has got some crazy beard going on. Uh, like the curls? I love the curls. That's hot. That's hard to beat. Just the curls for me are doing it. <laughs> That's mean. Well, that guy could be trouble, but if we're standing there, I wouldn't mind getting the gold or the. Uh... I wouldn't mind getting the uh, gold off of that and getting out of there. She still doesn't want regular peace yet. Blinks innocently. <laughs> That's mean. I need to get rid of that as well. Uh, Zeno, I did not watch it. I was making YouTube videos all day long and had no time to catch anything Fire Axis, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say. Forgot to lock the oops, lock these in. Um, <sighs> what about the Scott? What about the Scout? What? Oh, the Scott. Oh, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce has got some facial hair going. Pretty nice. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Maybe I'll just stand my ground and see what happens. Oh, is there no market there? Oh, so I straight up just got the one hit. Boo. A lot of land down here to pillage. Bruce is a badass name for sure. 100%. 100% is a badass name. Granary will help me grow in the city. I'm not sure I really want to grow population, to be honest with you. Amphitheater is a must. In there, another farm gets me to 8 out of 10. Housing is huge. Two more turns there. What else? Actually, I should probably eat that. Yeah, I should have ate that. Oh, well. Uh, you cannot. No, you can't do that. No. I, I was thinking trees there. I should have put. Nah, eh, whatever. It's fine. Two more turns there. I think I'm going to basically rack this video up uh, right about here. These guys need a sewer. Do we need more traders? We do need more traders. Oops. Oh, and purchase the archaeologist with faith. Uh, down here. That city rocking and rolling. You're going into your rook. Uh, let's see. Boost that tile with an Nazca line there. That's sort of where the Nazca lines go. Okay. Ooh. Hanging tough in there. Let them kill themselves off of me. Six turns to the new era. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and run some more turns out and push us to war a little bit closer to a victory of some sort. Uh, we're getting a little bit closer on the culture side uh, with our we're five out of sixty-two, but we are um, we're gonna get pushed to flight. We're starting to get some great. We got our theater scores down. Things things are gonna move once we've got some momentum towards it. We'll go research labs in one. We'll get those built, and uh, it's turn one eighteen. So down the road at some point soon, you'll see another episode and we'll uh, check you up on some progress. By the way, 517 science on tier, uh, 118. Bonkers. Okay, don't go anywhere, Twitch. This is for YouTube. Episode 5. The Revival. The Revival of the Wonderstart series featuring Bull Moose Teddy on Mount Rorema is upon us. I hope you're enjoying. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.